to M. Jimmy Killingsworth and Rhetorical Appeals, a revision pathos involves the audience, especially the motion to the audience. An example is found in the fourth paragraph of the transcription in his inaugural address. Born in this century, tempered by war, disciplined by a hard and bitter peace, proud of our ancient, ancient heritage and unwillingness to witness or permit slow undoing to those human rights to which this nation has always been committed and to which we are committed today and home and around the world. John F. Kennedy is reminding us of the hardship we have gone through and prevailed. This strongly appeals to our emotions. Now that I have discussed the powerful communication concepts utilized by John F. Kennedy, Manuel will explain why John F. Kennedy is a source of profound inspiration to us all. John F. Kennedy is a source of inspiration to, to all of us. I will now play an insert to illustrate my point. In the long history of the world, only a few generations have been granted the role of defending freedom in its hour of maximum danger. I do not shrink from this responsibility. I welcome it. I do not believe that any of us would exchange places with any other people or any other generation. The energy, the faith, the devotion which we bring to this endeavor will honor our country and all who serve it. And the glow from that fire can truly light the world. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. not just Americans, but the world to work together as a unit in order to benefit mankind. John F. Kennedy was a very richest leader. His richness is derived from doing what is right, not what his party or country delegates, but what he knew was right. In addition, the use of a righteous source as the Bible <clears throat> gives him an essence of righteousness. An example is derived from Isaiah 58.6 to undo the heavy burdens and let the press go free. John F. Kennedy understood that this will take hard work, but he is willing to endure the challenge. Unlike other presidents who prefer to take the easy way or path to less trouble, Kennedy chose to take his country into the narrow and steep path which will lead to prosperity, unity, and peace for all. And finally, John F. Kennedy, limitless theology for good meaning that sacrifice is not an option, but a requirement to achieve common goals is also a deep source of inspiration. Now that I have shared with why John F. Kennedy inspires us, Rosalinda will review <clears throat> what we have discussed thus far. John F. Kennedy is a one of the most profound, meaningful, and demanding speeches of all time. We now understand why we chose John F. Kennedy. Second, why we have chosen the inaugural address. Third, the communication tools utilized in his speech. And last, why John F. Kennedy will forever be a source of inspiration to all. So when the thought of frustration enters your mind due to the lack of imminent change in our country right now, Remember that genuine change takes time. And ponder on the words of John F. Kennedy. All this will not be finished in the first 100 years, nor will it be finished in the first 100 days. Not in the life of this administration, not even perhaps in the lifetime of this planet. But let us begin. Today, you and I will begin a quest for action. Thank you.